Welcome to my God of War Ragnarok walkthrough for all of the favours in the game. This walkthrough will offer tips for each favour, solutions to every puzzle and the location of all collectibles during the favour. I'll try and cover most of the loot too and this video covers the in service of Asgard favour that is unlocked in the very early stages of the game. More favours will be linked below in the pinned comment and the video description. As I said, you can unlock this favour quite early in the game. It's part of the main quest that you're going to come across it. And it's the quest for Tia. This is the second main quest of the game. On screen now, you're going to have to follow this route to proceed in the quest. And you'll notice that house just in front of us. You're going to go inside that house and there's going to be a dwarf playing an instrument. You'll first need to interact with him anyway as part of the quest line. After the dialogue, you'll be given a second interaction there with Triangle. And if you interact again, you'll be given the favor in service of Asgard. Once you've got the favor, you can track this, exit the left door and start this favor. After obtaining the in-service of Asgard favour from the Dwarf and exiting the door, you're going to be greeted by Sindri who's going to give you a compass. This compass is very handy now because on your map it's going to reveal locations, you can mark them and they'll appear on the top of the screen with the compass so it'll be easier to track and get to. You can see the main quest is here if you wanted to follow that, that's always on the compass. But with the side quest or favours like this one, you can see in-service of Asgard, Modfitner's rig there, we then got Rav Advin's rig over there and then all the way north there's Alfjof's rig. Now if we want to mark any of these we can do so by just pressing triangle. This is going to be on our compass and we can follow it to go and continue the quest. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to follow the compass and make our way to Modvitner's rig. Just run down the path ahead and you want to get on the boat. It's next to the mystic gateway that you see just in front of me here. You'll notice as well by tracking that rig, it has tracked all three as part of the favor. But just head to the closest one to you and that's going to be the rig we need to do first. You'll come up to a fork in the river and it'll show you the Bay of the Bounty where all the rigs are. But the main quest is over to the left. We're going to be covering obviously the rigs in this for the in-service of Asgard favour. So you're going to want to head right to the rig. Along the way there'll be barrels and other things you can collect. So make sure you're picking up that if you want to. Well, I'm heading to the blue icon on my compass that's just to the left over here. And is 150 metres away from me. You'll notice this big crane as you get there and you just want to beach the boat just underneath that. If you bring up the map again, you can see the location of where we are just here. Once beached, there is going to be a fight with some enemies, so just clear them as quick as you can. Once all the enemies are defeated, just climb up this ledge and press circle to climb up the next ledge. There's going to be some hack silver right in front of you on the ground. From this hack silver, if we just look over to the right there, we're going to notice an armor. We can't kill this yet, but we will be able to soon. So just get your axe out, go right and hit this paddle here so you can carry on forward. At the top of this tower you climb and before you can open that chest, you need to take care of these enemies. Once defeated, you can open this legendary chest. It's going to contain another favor. The seed that you find inside of this chest unlocks this favor here, the crucible. You need two of these seeds to go there though. So although the favor is unlocked, you can't get to this until later in the game where you find the second seed. I will explain in another video exactly where the other seed is in a full on guide and show you how the crucible works. It's like an arena with loads of different enemies to fight and loads of different rewards to get. But right now you can't do this. So forget about it until you get the second seed needed in order to unlock this quest and complete it. Now back to this favour, you can now get that armour that you couldn't kill earlier. Just turn right a little bit and walk slowly up to this ledge. Once it's in view, it still can't see you. Just aim with your axe, you won't get a hit marker, but hold R2 and then fire to kill it. Once killed, you're gonna want to get that loot. Just swing across here, you'll be able to then jump across and down to pick up the loot he just dropped. Also right in front of you is some collectible lore. Anything illuminating? Okay. 
Just use the blades to get back up. And now we can continue on with the quest. And you're looking at this crane in the middle. We need to spin this round. Just get your axe out. And you're going to want to spin this twice. So aim at the right paddle there. That'll be your first spin. And bring your axe back. Aim again. And that'll be your second spin. You can now use the crane to make it across this gap. There'll be some more enemies here, so just take care of these. After the enemies are defeated, just look right on the floor here for some hack silver. And just behind you, I strongly advise lowering this chain just for a shortcut later if needed. And you might notice this hanging basket. Get your axe out. You can interact with that to drop some loot. And you can just grapple down the chain now to go and grab it. Once you've got that, just climb back up the chain and we want to interact with the paddles again. You'll notice the red coffin over there, some loot in it, so that's what we're going to go for. With your axe, just hit the crane on the right paddle. That will spin round. Bring your axe back and hit it one more time. And that'll be enough for you to swing across the gap and collect your loot. From here, you are nearly done with this rig. Just swing back across, and you're going to notice this chain going up this cliffside. Just climb this chain. At the top of this chain is going to be like a boss fight against a Bergstra. You're going to need to defeat this before you can shut down the rig, and it might not be as easy as you think. You'll notice some explodables around the area. Make sure you pick up any health if you need it during the fight, and just block an attack. I suggest using this center pillar as well to get like the line of sight close between you and the enemy. This will allow you to take out the smaller ones first if needed before attacking him. He will spit at you quite regular as well. So again, this pillar in the middle is great to dodge that. It's a good time to go in for attack after he does his red attack. Do as much damage as you can. And if he is too difficult, just lower the difficulty so you can kill him. Once it is defeated, you're able to interact with the rig to shut it down and get your rewards. There is nothing left to collect or do here now, so just head back to your boat and we're going to go to the next rig. And the next rig we'll be doing is Radfin's rig. You can do these in any order though, we're just doing these in the order that we come across them along the river. There are a couple of ways you can go to Radvin's rig, but I want you to follow this way. As soon as you get on the boat to leave the previous rig straight in front of you, you may notice one of Odin's ravens flying about. And it's flying between these arches here. So just go through these arches to the left. There is a geyser in front that might go off, and if it does, Atreus will mention it. But if it doesn't, it doesn't matter too much anyway. It's just to the right that you want to go here. Just hug right, and you're going to beach up here at the watchtower. Once ashore, you are going to see Sindri here, so you can do some upgrades if you want to. There's also one of these mystic gateways to the left. Just approach it to refill your health and your rage if you need to. Now, before we go to Radvin's rig, we're going to cover a few items that are at the watchtower, and you want to head to the path left to Sindri. You'll notice around this corner that there is a hanging basket, so if you just get your axe out, you'll be able to use that to drop it and get some loot, as long as you don't miss it, of course. And also, just beyond that is another boat if you need one. From here, just head back to Sindri, and this time you want to take the path to the right of him. You'll notice this explodable right in front of you, so just get your axe out and make it go boom. And you'll be able to climb the wall up to the top. 
once at the top if you've never been here there are two other favors you can unlock so i'm just showing you these now i'm going to be covering both favors in separate videos so we won't be doing them today but over to the right is a locked door if you go and interact with that uh, murmur will mention about an island that you need to go to to get the key for the door that will start one favor and over to the left is a mini boss called the hateful if you can go and complete that boss and, and kill it you'll get some loot for that but, but you'll also unlock the favor born from fire with the hateful out of the way as well you're gonna be able to collect some goods from a red coffin and you'll be able to destroy the odin raven that you can see flying around the area Heading back to the Mystic Gateway in Sindri, you just want to follow this path up here past the Mystic Gateway. Keep an eye out on the right for some loot. And once you've collected that, you can press circle to get up to the next platform. And to the left is some more loot. Wow, there's a lot to explore here. Now you just need to go up one more ledge to start the challenge of this rig. You can see the rig right in front of you where you need to shut down, but it's not going to be that easy. There's lots of enemies to go and destroy. With the flying enemies, just make sure you're pressing square so Atreus can help, but it's pretty much straightforward. There's a lot of explodables around the area as well. Use them to your advantage if needed, and watch for the poison. You can use this pillar in the center to break the line of sight. Once all the enemies are dead, though, you can interact with the rig, and you can shut it down. The rig will drop you a load of rewards again, but we're not done yet. From where you shut down the rig, just run straight past it. You're going to find a chest and some lore right next to it. Now from here, just approach the Norner chest that could be found behind you. We're not going to do the Norner chest just yet though, because if you get your axe out, you're going to notice one of Odin's ravens right in front of you. Just take aim, fire and destroy. You'll now want to open the Norner chest and for this you're going to want to ignite three torches. So get your blades out, one torch is just to the left of it here, hold L2 and R2 to ignite it. And from here if we just go behind you're going to notice the second one behind this gate. You're not going to be able to use your blades for that so just look left and you can press circle to climb upwards. Call your axe back if you haven't already and use your axe on this explodable to light that torch. Once that is lit, just drop back down and head to the back of the area again where you got the collectible and the chest from earlier and you'll notice these two barrels. Press L2 and square, Atreus will do the sonic arrow and here's the third torch. Again with your blades, just L2 and R2 to ignite it and that will open the Norna chest for you. Depending on how many you have opened so far, you'll get an apple or you'll get a horn. Everything is now complete on this island unless you want to do the other side quests or whatnot. So it might be a good time to go and speak with Sindri to upgrade some armor. But if you're ready, just go and get back on the boat and we're going to now go to the final rig. The final rig on the map is the one most north and it's called Alfjof's rig. Just make your way there. As soon as you get to the rig, you're going to park your boat up and there'll be a chain right in front of you. Climb the chain and this will properly uncover the rig. It'll pop up on screen and you're also going to notice another one of Odin's ravens. So grab your axe, take aim and fire to make sure he dies. After the raven, you want to look over to the right and you're going to notice this reel. Interact with it with circle and you can take control of the crane. Just press up on your left stick twice to lower it twice. This will now be in the correct position. Now from here, just head over to the elevator and using your blades of chaos, you just want to press circle and that's going to lower the elevator. Just jump across the platforms and then Murmur is going to mention about destroying this to get through there. However, look to the right and there's some loot for you. Once you've got the loot, 
then you can use your blades to ignite this battle to get into the next area. There's no enemies here, but there is some like stone statues of enemies. I'm not sure what you call them, but later on there is a fight. It might be worth destroying these now so you don't come alive later. Once they're all destroyed and before moving on, if you just look in this back corner near to where you came into the area at, you'll just find a little bit more loot. Once you grab the loot, just head back to Atreus and use your blades to climb up. There'll be some more loot just ahead of you up here. Again, kill any of these enemies as you go around, just because they might come alive in a later encounter. And also press circle here, just in case you need it for later. Now, you want to open the next gate on this path, which is just here. Press circle to do that. And as you go through, you're going to want to drop down into this area here. And again, get your blades out, L2 and R2 to ignite the barrel. Through the opening on the left, you're going to find some more hack silver. And from that, you'll be able to climb this wall wide in front of you. Once you got round this obstacle and got all the way to the top here, you'll see that you can go through the floor down below that you can smash through. Do this, but there is going to be an enemy encounter, which you're going to need to take care of. Once clear, you might notice this red coffin in the distance. We can't get that just yet, so don't worry about that for now. But right to that, there is a chest you can get now. And just behind that chest, there's some blue writing on the wall. So make sure you go and interact with this law. And then once that is done, just head over to the lift before you head back up to interact with it and raise it up. And now from here, you can climb back out. Just press circle and you want to make your way back to that wheel that you used earlier. Just go through this door and to the left. And what you're going to do is interact with the wheel and then raise the crane by one. With the lift in position and the crane risen, you can now climb up here if you knocked that piece of wood off earlier. If not, you'll need to go around. Uh, but just climb up to this section. The other bit you can get up to is just from here in the main area. And you'll be able to swing across this section here using the lift and the crane. Now before you go any further, we still want to get that red coffin, but while you're here, you'll notice this chain to the right. Just press circle to lower it, you then have a ch shortcut all the way back up here. Just drop down this chain that you've just lowered, and what you want to do is head back to the wheel that controls the crane. This time, we're now going to lower it all the way so that we can go and get that red coffin. So just press circle on the wheel. Lower the crane all the way down as far as it can go and then from there you want to jump down through the hole in the floor that you made earlier which is just over here. You'll now be able to use that crane to swing across and get the red coffin. Now that we've got that coffin we can swing back over to the other side. Climb through the hole in the floor and that chain that we dropped earlier we can now go and use to get back to the top of the rig to go and complete it. The chain's just here. Now proceed forward and climb the structure to encounter an enemy before we can take care of this rig and shut it down. Once all the enemies are clear, just interact with the rig, shut it down and collect your rewards. This now completes the in-service of Asgard favor, and you can now go back to Sindri and craft all three of the armor pieces as the reward. However, there's still more to do with this rig, so I am going to cover it. Just to the right of where you shut down this rig, you're going to notice these barrels. Just press L2 and square to destroy them, and you'll be able to strafe across to the other side. From here, just jump across this gap, 
and notice the chain right in front of you. Knock this down and you'll be able to go down the chain back to the entrance. Just jump across the gap and we're back to this wheel. Interact with the wheel and this time you want to take the wheel all the way as far as you can to the top. Once there, just come off the wheel, jump back over this gap and climb back up this chain that you just came down. You'll notice when you get to the top that you can now swing across to the left. Notice the wall in front of you. You're going to need to press circle twice to make this jump. Done successfully, you'll break through the wall and you're going to find the legendary chest in this area that's got some nice loot for you. Just head over to the right and it's around this corner. If you fail the double circle, you will be able to try again. With all three rigs complete and the in service of Asgard favor complete, come back to Sindri wherever you want really and you're going to notice the armor that he can now craft for you. You'll use the ore that you found from all three of those rigs to craft it and this is the best in-game gear you can get at the start of your God of War Ragnarok playthrough. I really do advise you do the side quest as soon as you can. Get this armor and place it on and upgrade it. You will get some better armor down the line but this is definitely the best starting armor. So craft the chest piece, craft the wrist armor and craft the waist guard. You may have enough forged iron as well to do another upgrade here. I highly do in the chest piece or the placket because this gives you strength, defense and vitality. And that is all for this video. That is how you complete the favor and service of Asgard. Get all the loot that's around that area enjoying that favor. All the collectibles, legendary chests and everything else with Norner chests. I hope you've enjoyed this video guide. It's been helpful. Make sure you hit like and share if it has. Until the next video, thank you so much for watching this one. Stay safe and peace out.